Hello friends, my name is Harish and uh, today I will be uh, walking you through the setup for Mule Management Console uh, which is popularly known as MMC. Um, MMC is a management console which is uh, which you can use for uh, managing your uh, Mule runtime environment and uh, you can download uh, the trial version for uh, MMC from here. You can go to uh, mule docs and then you can find this link here and uh, you can download it and you can uh, use uh, any web application server to deploy your MMC it's it's uh, simply a wall file um, which can be used to deploy and uh, I have also downloaded the uh, mule runtime resource uh, you can go to mule uh, developer.mulesoft.com download mule esb runtime and you can download the uh, standalone runtime uh, if you have a pc you can download a zip file if you have a mac or linux uh, system then you can download a tar and then you can um, then we are these are the two things we have to download and then we i will walk you through how to set it up so i have already downloaded uh, both the things um, this is my mule runtime environment uh, this is uh, I just downloaded and unzipped it here and uh, this is how it looks right now and it has uh, all like apps bin conf docs domain and all the folders in mule runtime and this is my MMC war file and I am going to use Tomcat to deploy my uh, MMC war so I went I took this MMC wall file and I went to um, web apps folder of uh, Tomcat and I just placed my mmc.wall you see this folder because I before creating this tutorial I give it a try and try tested it so that it works so once you deploy it it will uh, un, like expand this uh, mmc.wall and create a mmc folder and uh, let's uh, start this uh, Tomcat server and see how it looks uh, okay so I'll go to that folder. I just uh, navigated to my Tomcat folder. So this is the Tomcat folder. I go to bin and I'll just run uh, my Tomcat. So let it start. So once it runs, it will uh, expand that uh, mmc.war and deploy it on Tomcat server once uh, and i'm running uh, uh, my tomcat server on 8080 port and uh, once it deploys and start i can go to this url and get this mc console uh, it's still not started that's why it's not coming yet so let's see let's wait <laughs> okay so it's saying it's starting something okay the repository started take some time so in the meanwhile what i'll do i'll go to my um, mule uh, runtime i will go to bin folder and i will start my mule mmc uh, mule runtime also so that uh, we don't waste time in waiting so i go here i just run okay let me show so my current directory is mule runtime and bin folder i go there and i run this dot mule uh, it's if you are uh, having a pc then it will be a batch file for mule then you can run that and then i just start it so it will also start and i think our server has started so this is my MMC and the default ID password is admin and admin. So ID password both are admin. So now let's click on login. So it's very simple. Our MMC is being set up. Okay. Okay. So MMC is set up. So here you can see various tabs like server, deployments, application, flows, flow analyzer, business events, alerts, administration. So let me talk a little bit about administration. Administration, you can create users and user groups and uh, give them different permissions. So 
currently there is only one uh, user admin I can very easily go to users and then uh, click on new I can add a new user and when I create a new user I can give them permissions like administrator deployer monitor and server administrator and then uh, control their access and I can create new groups also so if you go to a new group you can give what kind of uh, permissions they have and what can they do so I will take, uh, talk in separate blog more details about this and uh, how you can control your security based with using LDAP or uh, other security uh, policies also so right now let's just register one server here what are the mule runtime so I'm going to register this okay local mule server so here I'm saying local host and the port 7777 so this port is coming from the wrapper conf and what is wrapper conf uh, wrapper conf you can find in a mule runtime conf folder and then here there will be a wrapper.conf file so when if you go here you can see there is a port where the MMC can bind if you want to use some other port you can very easily change it now when I try to register it I will be getting an error let me first get that error then I'll show you why I am getting this error so it's saying that it cannot uh, register server because the connection was refused by remote mule server why it is because by default when you have a uh, mule uh, download mule runtime this agent is disabled the mule agent is disabled so we have to make it true and then restart our mule runtime and we will be able to communicate with mule so let's go here let me stop uh, mule and then I let me restart it so once it is started I will be going back to this one and I will be clicking add again and the communication will happen and my mule is running on localhost at this port so always remember if you have downloaded it freshly and unzipped mule runtime don't forget to change this setting so now let's click on add and here we can see that communication paired with MMC you can see this uh, message logging in logged in here and you can see that communication is done and our server is registered so let's go again here okay let me go to server and I'll click this and I want to show one more thing that you can very easily segregate your serv different servers into different uh, groups like development production staging or test I'm going to put it as development and then I click yes so you here you can see the group so the benefit of adding them into group is easy recognition and later on I will show you how to create clusters of mule runtimes together so this tutorial is this much only so I showed you how to set up MMC and how to register a mule server in my next tutorial I will be showing you how to deploy an application using MMC into this runtime mule runtime thank you for watching do like and share thank you bye bye